Okay, so uh, Junior Cert 2022, Maths Higher Level. Question one is an arithmetic question. So Jane buys a laptop for $699 plus a shipping cost of $30. And they're giving you the exchange rate. So they want you to do a simple um, currency exchange. Okay, so we need to add the shipping cost to the price. So 699 plus 30 is going to give you 729. And then uh, you need to use this exchange rate. So for every dollar, it's going to be 90 cent euro. So we're going to multiply 729, multiply by 0 0.9, which is going to give us 656, multiply by uh, 0.10 cent. Okay, so that is what they're looking for there in euro. Now, uh, Jane, has a gross salary of 56,000. She pays income tax on her gross at a rate of 20% for the first 44,000. And then the remainder, she's going to pay 40% on that. Okay, so they're looking for, for both of these. So the first one is to take the 20% on the 44,000. Uh, so that's multiplied by two. So that's going to give you 8,860. Then the remaining amount, so you're going to subtract 56,000 from 44,300, which is going to give you uh, 100 there. So 700. 11. Okay, so we're going to, that's the remaining amount that we need to pay the higher rate of tax on. So that's going to be 0.4. It's 40%. Okay, uh, so that is going to give you 4,680. Uh, they're not asking you to add them, so you don't necessarily need to do that. So you merely put down 8,800. 60 for that one and 4680 for that one. The next question they're asking you then <coughs> is she has annual tax credits of this amount. So work out her take home pay. Okay, so we will go back now and add these two numbers together to get the full amount of tax. So that is going to give you 13,000. 540. Okay, so that's the full amount. Now, we've been told here that there's tax credits of 3,300. So if I take this number and subtract 3,300 from it, I'm not going to pay tax on the first 3,300. So that is going to give me 2,400, uh, 2,000, 10,240. So the take home pay then is going to be 56,000, which is our gross salary, subtracting 10,240 from it. Uh, so that's going to give me 45,760. So that's the take home pay for Jane.